Greeting the Faith families, coming to you from the Worth Street campus with some exciting news. First of all, thank you so much. Thank you to all who stepped up last week for our Faith Gives initiative. As you likely know by now, we have exceeded the goal of 175 to over $200,000. So thank you families for stepping up and being a part of what God has chosen to bless here at Faith Christian School. I come to you with a little bit of a vision and a little bit of a burden at the same time. So as you know, Hurricane Helene has devastated uh, many parts of the Asheville to Knoxville area uh, back on the eastern part of our country. Uh, being from North Carolina, I had a burden uh, last weekend for quite a while to try to focus an effort in one particular location. So I reached out to a friend who's the head of a school up in the mountains of North Carolina. Fortunately, they were okay, but she shared with me a story about someone on the other side of the mountain. So we're going to send out a little bit of an overview for you uh, if you're interested in a little more detail about how this came about. But the bottom line is Bethel Christian Academy, a small school in a very small town in Canton, North Carolina, is under absolute devastation. Their school building is still intact, but as you can imagine, everything inside of it is uh, totally ruined. Caked with mud, heating and air conditioning, electrical, all of it is in the process right now of being gutted and cleaned up. Part of that because of an effort that we've already launched and partnering with some people back in North Carolina. So we're going to send out a needs list. We're going to explain a little bit more about how this story came about. But I think it's time for the families of Grapevine Faith to pull our resources together. Many of you may be helping out through your local church, and if you're doing that for hurricane relief, uh, praise God, glory, hallelujah. But for those of you who have maybe been thinking about it or want to rally together, I'm just calling on the faith family to pray. We have a list of names, first names, of each one of the students and the faculty members that our kids and teachers will be praying through here, and a list of needs that we're putting together. We've already invested quite a bit of money, uh, courtesy of someone else, to get much-needed tools into the area to help them begin rebuilding the school. They have a big vision. They want to be back in the school by the beginning of second semester. And uh, my brother has been back coordinating with their uh, board member who's in charge of rebuilding the school. I'm in constant contact with Clara, who is the head of school there, and they have kind of pivoted. We know what that word means and uh, doing some distance learning this week and looking at what the next few weeks uh, look like. So Bethel Christian Academy, I want you to add them to your prayer list. Your students will hopefully be talking about them a little bit more in the coming weeks. And I'm just asking you to pray, pray specifically for the work that we're partnering with back in Canton, North Carolina. And then begin praying about what you may do to be able to help provide the significant relief that's needed in an isolated area with families who are pooling resources together to provide a Christian education for their children. Thank you, Faith Family, for all that you do. 